Oh hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of the Skipper Let's Play. So, Skipper has one day left of term, so I'm thinking today we will just try and complete this term. What does she have left to do? She has to give a presentation. She's already submitted her term paper. She's done all of her homework. Okay, so maybe we should do some studying for the final exam, which will be tomorrow. What time are the final exams? 9.30 a.m. So I think she can go and give her presentation at 8, but she might not be back in time. Oh, good idea, Skipper. Take yourself out, do some yoga. Just try and calm your nerves. Good idea. So presentations can be submitted between 8 a.m. and 4.30. And her last exam finishes at 12.30. So maybe we'll do the exams first and then we'll do the presentation last. It's going to be a busy day, Skip. But if you do well, then maybe we'll celebrate by going over to your new boyfriend's house. Oh dear, Emily really doesn't have a great relationship with Daryl or Imogen, does she? I think she's just not really ready for Skipper to move on. I think if Emily could have her way, Skipper would just be single forever. And it would just be the two of them. You spraying the monster under the bed? That's cute. She obviously knows she's got some exams tomorrow, so she's just making sure that Emily doesn't wake up in the middle of the night screaming. Right, Emily, you should probably go and get some sleep as well. It's a big day tomorrow for Skipper. Well, I guess neither of them are tired, so Skipper's way of handling things is to just keep doing yoga. Uh-oh. Someone's been scratching. Who was it, though? Was it Hayden or was it Chloe? Oh, look at those two, just hanging out by their scratching post. Okay, we have three hours, probably enough time to cook breakfast together. What would work for breakfast? Scrambled egg whites with turkey bacon. There we go, that will do. Oh, Emily's not going to be able to eat. She's got to go to school. Sorry, Emily, lost track of time. You're going to have to do, like, breakfast club or something. Okay, the final exam, 35 minutes. Okay, grab a quick plate of that. Emily, go to school. All right, Skipper, time for your first final exam. Has she got a stressed mood buff? Yeah, cram for exam. You'll do great, you'll do great. And then when you get home, you get to clean up all these hairballs and clean the filthy kitchen, so lucky you. Okay, Skipper, pretty much the second you get back, you're going to do your presentation. Okay, go and give final presentation right now. And then we'll do something fun tonight to say well done for all that hard work. Shit, we can't afford to pay our bills. Oh, that's not good. We might have to go to the spa to do like a s massage or something so that we can at least pay our bills. Okay, you done? Yeah, I think she's done everything. Right, pay the bills, clean the kitchen, and then we're going to have to go put a shift in so we can actually afford our bills this week. Maybe we should try and convince Daryl to let us move in with him because we're kind of struggling to get by right now. <laughs> Juggling college and being able to just give massages as and when, turning out to be quite stressful for poor Skipper. Okay, so our bills were just over a thousand simoleons and we have just shy of 500. So let's go and see if we can maybe offer some massages out. Let's see, hopefully we should be able to... Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to do quite a few massages. Hey, bitch, fuck off. This is my massage table. Yeah, we're going to have to do quite a few massages, aren't we? Probably like maybe three or four even. Skipper, you're going to have to move quickly. Why did the camera move me over here? I don't need to be over here. I really hope this sim gives me a large tip. Oh man, I only made 150 simoleons from that massage. I'm going to be here all night. All right, Skipper, we want to go for relaxing, but also a bit rushed. Either that or we try and ask Daryl for a small loan <laughs> to pay our bills. Oh, sweet! GPA A+. Plus. Yes, I will sign up for another term. Fuck. I can't afford to enroll. Oh, okay, I'm going to have to take out a student loan, aren't I? So not only have I had to take out a student loan to continue going to college, but I also can barely afford my bills. So perhaps what I'll do is I'll ask Daryl if he can maybe give me a little, little loan. Oh, did I just achieve an aspiration? Oh, I think it just contributed towards my hustle point. Whoa. Mila tip skipper 70 simoleons. Oh yes. Yes. So at this rate I'll probably only have to do one more massage and then I can pay my bills. 
and then I'll worry about the student loan later. That is tomorrow's problem. This is going to have to be the last one, though, Skipper, because I'm thinking we did say we'd hang out with Daryl and his kid tonight. Oh, wellness level eight. Right, pay me. Pay me. That's right. All right, Skipper, let's go home. Actually, no. We will instead just go straight to Daryl's house. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I just thought maybe we could make some popcorn, watch a movie, just have a cozy night in, you know, try and get the kids to get on. Oh, they've got a dog. Pickle. How cute. Okay. Let's cook some popcorn. There's my man. Ah. Okay, the popcorn's made. Let's um, grab a serving together, everyone. And then we'll just watch a movie. Uh, watch a movie. We will watch Lost Dog's Journey Home with everybody. It'll be adorable. Guys, sit on the sofa. Don't be weird about it. Guys, don't be weird about it. Sit on the sofa. Okay, yes, good. Well, Skip is having a great time. Daryl looks like he's having a great time. Emily does not seem very impressed. I don't think she's that happy to be here. But, you know, at least the two kids are sitting in relatively close proximity to each other. Quite cute. You think the dog will find its way home, kids? I wonder if this will give Emily a new sentiment towards Imogen. Not yet, just grudging after a fight. The dog's scared of the TV. Emily, why don't you grab some popcorn? Oh, see, this is nice. We could do this all the time. Little family time. Nice try, Daryl. Can Emily, like, maybe talk to Imogen? She could apologise, but we're not going to do that. Too stubborn to apologise. Instead, we'll just get to know. Maybe we could leave the kids downstairs. You know, to get on while Skipper and Daryl maybe do a little bit of a uh, woohoo, perhaps? Skipper, I know you really want to do your homework, but this is your night off tonight, okay? You two kids, stay down here, watch some cartoons or something. You'll be fine. See how these two are getting on. I can't really tell whether they're becoming friends or not. Oh, well, yeah, they are. Great. Well, Emily, why don't you grab some popcorn? Oh, I can hear some sexy music going on up here. Good for you, Skipper. You finally moved on. I think Daryl might just be the one. Maybe we, we will ask him for a small loan. Because I still don't think we have enough money to pay our bills. Where did the other kid go? Where's Imogen? No protection was used. Oh, fuck it. Great. Just what I need. Well, it's getting late. It's like almost midnight. I know you really want to do your homework. Let's just wake up Daryl. Okay, I just want to see if there's an option to ask for a loan. Or whether she needs like a certain charisma point to get that. <sighs> no option for a loan yet. Well, on that note, I think we should probably just head home then. It's getting late. It's midnight. Emily's got school in the morning. We're not exactly being the most responsible parent, so we should probably take her home now. Oh, it sounds like I've achieved something. Oh, <laughs> play The Sims 4 for five hours. This game always thinks I've only just started playing The Sims. Right, Emily, you can go to sleep. Can we afford those bills yet? Yes, we just have enough. 50 simoleons left to spare. We may as well get a start on our homework. And I'm guessing you don't have school tomorrow. Yeah, the term hasn't even started. So tomorrow we need to go give some massages so we have enough money for the next round of bills and also to pay off our loan. The cats are meowing quite a lot and I'm hoping it's just because they're loud and they're not sick or something because the last thing I need is a fucking vet bill. Struggling to get by as it is. Okay, so I'm thinking, Skipper, you carry on doing your homework. Let's just try and get you so that all of your homework is done. In fact, is Emily even tired? No, she's just hungry. So then, Emily, you can go and get leftovers. Because I don't think you've done your homework either. Yeah, you can breeze through your homework. So we're all ready for the day ahead. And I'm thinking, once Skipper is at a point where she's got on top of all of her homework and she's ready for class, then probably what we'll do, most likely in the next episode, is we'll try and focus more on the money side of things because, you know, we're pretty broke as shit right now and we could just move in with Daryl and I do want to move in with Daryl, but I don't want Skipper to move in with Daryl just because she doesn't have any money. You know, Skipper's quite a proud simp. She wants to provide for herself and her kid. 
So I think in the next episode, we probably, we either won't move out or we'll save moving out until right at the end because I want to try and spend the days we have in between now and our next class. Although the next one is in 12 hours. Yeah, I'm just thinking the next term, we're just going to spend keeping on top of uni and also trying to earn some money. I want to kind of have a goal in mind. Like, maybe if Skipper can pay off her loan and have, like, maybe just a couple simoleons in the bank, which hopefully we can do in the next episode, then maybe we'll move in with Daryl at that point. Because at that point, we'd be pretty independent. And on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Also, I think the cats aren't friends anymore because it looks like they're fighting. Guys, guys, come on, calm it down. Literally a cat fight. Why do they hate each other so much? They're still going. Guys, Hayden is running away. She will make her home... She will make her way home eventually, but posting an alert via computer or phone can help find her sooner. Oh no! She's running away because she had a fight with Chloe. This is really bad. Now Skipper's got a sad mood buff, missing my furry friend. Post alert about missing pet. Do it right now. Well, I wasn't expecting things to take that much of a turn. Hopefully in the next episode we find Hayden. Bye bye